Good morning and welcome back. My name is Rachel, that is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And today I am going to be doing a new new release book review. And this time it is for Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. So how we are going to do this book review is I am going to first give a synopsis of it. I'm going to give some spoiler free thoughts. I'm going to go into some spoiler thoughts and then I'm going to do my outro and I will chapter it. That way you can skip around to what you're interested in seeing. So Project Hail Mary is Andy Weir's newest science fiction adventure story, and I would call this a space opera, which is my favorite genre of science fiction. As the story begins, we wake up with Rylan Grace, who has amnesia and doesn't remember what's going on, and he is in some sort of pod, and there's a robotic arm trying to help him, and he just doesn't remember anything. Slowly, he becomes adapted and finds out he's on a spaceship, and very slowly his memories start to come back as well. We find out that the sun has been affected by an alien entity called Astrophage, which is taking its energy and dimming the sun, which is causing a lot of problems for the Earth. Through the course of the book, we find that the reason why this mission was put into place is because they had found a system where Astrophage wasn't affecting the sun or the brilliance of it, the heat. I'm not sure how they measure the sun. And so this mission was constructed to go find out why. And it is a one-way trip. There were supposed to be three astronauts and two of them died. So Rylan Grace is on his own, coming to terms with his humanity's last hope. And he doesn't remember everything but he does remember that he was once a science te when he starts to get his memories back he remembers pretty early that he was once a science teacher if i remember right he has gone to the tau seti system and then this is where the story becomes a first contact story humans are not alone and they're not the only ones trying to figure out how to combat astrophage and the story goes from there so for my non-spoiler thoughts I think this is a pretty solid story. I like that Ryland was a teacher because then that balances the science that he is talking about at, at the same time he's doing it. You get a little bit more of a hard science fiction feel from what otherwise is a more lighter science fiction space opera story. And it's a nice balance. I liked the intercutting of the past and the present. I do have issue though with how his memories came back. It how they be his earliest memories came back versus the most recent or the latest memories. I don't know anything about amnesia though, so I don't know how somebody who's recovering from amnesia and get, regaining their memories how that works. Maybe that's true or maybe it's not. It just it was very convenient for the plot to have it come out that way. I do think that towards the latter half of the book where he's breaking down the science. At that point, I don't think it was needed anymore. We were already invested. You'd already made us believe that science is a foundation of what they're doing. We could have done with less of the, let me stop and talk about the science issue. We didn't need it, especially with the space opera chassis that we had, or at least I didn't need it. I don't think most people, I think most people are probably the same. It's like, okay, you, you went a little overboard on explaining the science. What I was really fascinated about was how earth politics was working in the flashbacks, especially with Strat. I mean, in a perfect world, yeah, all the countries would work together and let's go ahead and make thing, these things happen and let's bypass bureaucracy. And it was an interesting concept. I don't think I actually bought it. I did very much when Strat's like, oh, I am under no illusions that once this mission goes, I'm going to be put on trial for a lot of crimes against humanity. But hey, I have done everything I can to save humanity. That part I believed, but how she was just so easily able to say, yep, nope, 
these people are backing me up. I'm making these decisions. That I had a little bit of a harder time following. Uh, but Strat is a very interesting character. I greatly enjoyed her, actually. Because um, she's not really a villain. She is more of an antagonist. Or she comes off more antagonistic. I liked the first contact aspects of how Rocky and Ryland learn to communicate. I thought that was very well done, very realistic for we don't know anything about how somebody else communicates and now we're trying to figure this out from scratch. We speak completely different languages and we, we have few things in common. I'm working from there. Um, I think that's cool that Rocky's language system is musical, at least that's how Ryland perceives it, and so then he was able to synthesize notes in order to talk. I do think that the time scale of which they became fluent didn't wasn't realistic, but that's just me having learned another language and living, and I was immersed in another country while I was doing that, and still not being fluent while I was living there, immersed in it. So, like I said, there are conveniences that happened for this story, but it's still a very fun story. I think one of the biggest criticisms I've heard for this book is it's, is that Ryland is too much like Mark Watney in the humor aspect. And I disagree on this criticism just because both Mark Watney and Ryland Grace are looking at they're going to die. And living with a vet, there is a certain sense of humor that is developed for people who live in life and death situations. And so I can see where their humor would be very simu similar. But for me, the two never seemed like they were the same person. Um, they approach things very differently. Like, Ryland was much more humble of a character, and he had a great enthusiasm for science, and I think that's where a lot of people are probably getting them confused, is because Watney also was enthusiastic about science, but he was way more cocky. He knew exactly what he could do, and he'd been trained for that situation, whereas Grace hasn't been his whole life hasn't been towards becoming an astronaut, becoming a savior of the people. And so to me, in my mind, at least I was able to keep these characters very separate and just how this, this story was written. Again, there was a more science fiction with the emphasis on fiction element rather than in the Martian, you feel it's more near future science, science fiction, where it could actually happen conceivably. So to me, the stories were very much different in tone and tenor and character. So for my spoiler thoughts, I think my biggest disappointment with this story was the big reveal at the end when Ryland gets all of his memories back and realizes that he was forced into this mission and in his words, a coward. And that didn't feel true to his character. How he was set up, how he had fought to, earlier in the book, to continue working with Astrophage and continuing his research, even though he was just a science teacher. It didn't feel real. With how every, I could see Dubois and Shapiro, I think her name is, I could see them getting blown up and they're like, well, okay, Grace, you're the, you're the third replacement. We don't have time to train anyone else, but I can't see him going, no, I refuse to do it. I refuse to do this mission. He spent too much time making everything happen for me to believe that at the last moment he'd go, no, nope, no, nope, I'll take my chances. You know, screw humanity. That doesn't, no, that's not his personality. And his whole, well, I just want to go back to teaching kids. If that's really what you wanted to do, you would have done that a long time ago. And so I'm very conflicted with how that section of the book worked. It just, it didn't fit. And 
I could see, you know, Strat and everyone else basically deciding, hey, you're going to be the third one without talking to him, and maybe him being mad and upset about that. But I don't see him just going, nope, not going to do it, and then Strat having to basically sedate him and then have drugs that made amnesia happen. So that really is actually my biggest qualm with this book. Yeah, I think actually that was probably my the biggest thing I wanted to talk about as from a spoiler aspect. So let's move on to the outro. Okay. Um, again, I, I like this story. I, I don't love it as much as the Martian that that's for sure. Um, I'm giving this a four star cause it is a solid story. This is something I would recommend for people to read, but I'm not sure if it has rereadability at least for me personally. So while I liked many elements, there were just a few that I mentioned in my spoiler section that really have me pulling back on this story and drop, and it gets dropped down to that four star rating. But if you haven't read this, go read it. I do highly suggest it. And I'm interested, if you have read it, please tell me what you thought. I haven't heard a whole lot of thoughts on this book. And I would really love to know what you thought of it. So please leave me a comment down below. If you are enjoying my reviews, please subscribe and share this with your friends. Thank you and have a great day.